The situation in China where authorities say they are facing their worst COVID test yet. We've seen the first death in around six months and cases continue to rise. Investors obviously getting spooked because it reduces the possibility that we're going to see zero COVID being taken away as a policy tool anytime soon. Your thoughts? Uh, the news is obviously not great news. China's been trying to reopen for quite some time and it's obviously had a very big impact on GDP growth. It's had a very big impact on investment sentiment as well. Uh, but what I would say to you is that China's down 13% year to date. We've still got GDP growth of 3.9%. It's the second biggest economy in the world, a uh, $17 trillion economy just behind the US. The next biggest economy after that is Japan at $5 trillion. And remember, uh, when you take the MSCI All World, uh, China only makes up 3.6% of it. So we're expecting to see some longer term inflows into China. The point I would make to you here is that China is a huge economy. Investors need exposure. Despite all the bad news, a lot of it is already priced in. This is a really good time to be investing when asset prices are as low as they are. You've got PE ratios at 8 in Hong Kong. You've got PE ratios around 12 uh, in mainland China. Uh, Buffett's just invested $6 billion into Taiwan. You've got masses of COVID orders around the world coming into China. So you know what China are trying to do. Remember that 90% of all electric vehicle car batteries come from China as well. And there's been a lot of concern about the real estate market and debt levels. But again, you've had deregulation or lighter bank regulation, uh, which is also helping investor sentiment too. Uh, also, the last point I would make, and this has been touched on already this morning, is that China's position in the Ukraine conflict has been slowly diminishing. Uh, they're not making the noises that they have been making. They have been big beneficiaries of high commodity prices. They've been bigger beneficiaries of cheap Russian oil as well. So our view here is bad news, great entry point. Uh, volatility is to be expected, but we like volatility because it gives us a chance to invest in the second biggest economy in the world that is only growing.